Hey folks. As you can see, this is your favorite source raw really is so packs. And uh, I have a very, very important message for you guys, which is the following thing. Let me give you a quick background about what I'm talking uh, about. Okay, so it's this. <clears throat> See, when you're a magician um, and you're working with, you know, if you take your craft seriously, there are often things that happen that are not expected. But even there, you can see that laws such as the law of compensation is uh, very important. What is the law of compensation? Now, first of all, let me explain that. What is the law of compensation? The law of compensation basically just means if you want something, if you want something, you have to put up something as well. If you want to take from somewhere, you also have to give somewhere else. You see, and now generally speaking, this is something that we could definitely learn from and apply much more in all our lives, right? <clears throat> so, besides that, the same thing applies also to your work with the spirits. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you probably have learned or have noticed that Lucifer has been and is one of our main teachers in this lifetime. And uh, <clears throat> the reason why I'm able to teach certain things that you will not learn anywhere else is, uh, you know, to a large extent because of that. Because in Lucifer, for various reasons that you know, are not even fully revealed to me yet. Various reasons has decided that I'm supposed to transfer some of his secrets that nobody else has transferred before. So in that context, he made me some sort of a vessel for his for his teachings. This is something that, that, that started way back when I was 13 years old. When my training started, I was handed a set of cards, divination cards, and uh, I was told to to pick my destiny, which I didn't understand what what that means. As a, as a 13 year old, and you're in your 13 year old mind, you have no idea what that's supposed to mean. What do you mean, pick my destiny? Now, truthfully, the stuff is still unfolding, obviously, but. What it boiled down to is essentially, I picked a card, and the card that was... So what I did was, I picked the card, and it was the card of the light bearer. And that was essentially when Lucifer's involvement in my life began. That's around 25, 26 years ago now. And ever since then, he's been guiding me, he's been preparing things for me, he's been arranging circumstances for me to reach greater and greater levels of initiation and uh, everything that comes with that. Yeah. So, what am I saying? <clears throat> I'm saying that The law of compensation in this case means that, yes, I receive amazing, amazing, amazing teachings from this guy. But that comes with a lot of uh, responsibilities as well. What do I mean responsibility? Well, it essentially means that I am contracted, I am uh, charged with, I am supposed to teach a lot of the stuff that I learned as well. And uh, I mean, obviously, that is one of the reasons why 
I even started doing the Grail of the Serpent because I didn't want to. Uh, the Grail of the Serpent really started um, in a way where, you know, through various circumstances, they were also arranged by Lucifer. Uh, I was I was told to start teaching more and more people, which I didn't want to do. But shortly after, circumstances aligned where a friend of mine, which is uh, quite a famous person, quite well known, um, essentially suggested that I do that, teach. And, uh, you know, I thought if two people that I respect say that, or two entities that I respect say that, let's do it. And uh, yeah, that was the beginning of the Grail of the Serpent. I never, I never wanted to necessarily teach but at the same time um, the quality of the teachings out there are is just shit let's be honest for the most part it's shit or it's, it's deliberately deliberately um, you know deliberately horse shit so deliberately created to confuse people and to trap them in various ways right so let me, let me get back to my point here Thank you. So, the reason why I'm doing this video is because the last couple of days, like so many other times in my life, Lucifer has been showing up, has been teaching me. I spent rituals here. I've been spending a lot of times, if you wonder where I'm at, I'm in a location that I'm not ready to disclose. Uh, but I can tell you that I'm very, very close to the Swiss Alps. Swiss Alps um, and I'm meeting people here that you wouldn't know about not YouTube in YouTube figures or something like that I'm meeting people that are um, involved in things that you would consider world politics big business things like that uh, and that in connection to my involvement with Lucifer so Besides that, he's telling me, or has been telling me, that I need to gather 21 people. He told me, gather 21 people that you will empower with what I have to give. 21 people. Not more, not less. Those 21 people will be called... Um, based on their intuition, based on what they feel, and they will know that they will need to be part of this. There's not that much to say. See, like, listen, I'm a, I'm a very good businessman. You think the grail of the serpent is a business? <laughs> listen, the marketing of this channel, let's be honest, is bullshit. It's shit. Because this is not about that. It's about putting out energy that attracts the right people. It's a vibrational universe. When it comes to spiritual teachings and spiritual messages, all you got to do is you got to put out the energy. And if it is supposed to be heard, supposed to reach the right person, uh, they will receive the message. As simple as that. So, the bottom line is this. I'm sending out the call through this video. Uh, by extension of Lucifer for to 21 people that want to turn every aspect of their lives into a perfect 10 and not only that become superhumans for lack of a better word which is nothing but a fully developed human, by the way. Okay, which what people in this in this sheep bullshit society call superhumans or something like that is nothing but a fully developed human. Which means that the latent abilities, the latent powers, the potential of the individual has been awakened, has been activated, and has been mastered to a certain extent. And that is 
what looks superhuman or godlike to normal people. This is all about, you know, revealing, unfolding, and expressing our potential. What the fuck is this guy doing? So, yeah. Even in Switzerland, people can't drive, just so you know. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Anyways, so. <laughs> The bottom line is, I'm putting a link uh, below this video in the description. It's going to be an Instagram, um, Instagram profile in which you can contact me if you're one of those 21. Send me a message there and we'll see if Lucifer agrees. As usual, no psychos. No weirdos, <laughs> no bald people, <laughs> no black people. <laughs> I mean, you get what I'm saying. I'm kidding. Just be a normal fucking person, okay? Just be normal. Be stupid. You know, no weirdos. And obviously, obviously, I don't care about anything else. So, Show up there if you think you have what it takes. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.